Um, it's a little frizzy at the bottom, but it's cute. But, um, it's nice. It's nice. I'm trying things that's different and new, so. So, what I used on this um, braid out is the Chamomile Rose um, Naturals. Moisture milk. I'm a huge fan. Huge fan of this. It's really nice and thick and creamy. Um, a little goes a long way. Um, I also use the LA Looks Mega Mega Hole Level Nine Hole. Um, I'm still on the fence about this product. I mentioned in one of my Instagram posts about it um, about the beautiful textures. Um, curl custard or something like that which I returned um, and it says on the formula on the back of it it says will not flake and every time I put it in my hair it flakes one of my followers suggested um, the LA looks and so I tried it I'm, like I said I'm still figuring out do I really like it it doesn't give me the amount of cold that Eco Stella does so I'm like an Eco Stella better but trying to do something different, trying to change it up for the summer, um, I'm trying products. So if you have another suggestion of a gel that has a great hold, um, I'm all for it, as long as it's inexpensive. Um, so yeah, that's what gave me this look. I also used the Chamomile Rose on a Bantu knot that I posted on Instagram. It came out really nice. I used the Chamomile Rose Moisture Milk, and I use the Beautiful, Beautiful Textures um, Curl Pudding, I mean Curl Control Defining, defining Pudding. Um, it came out really nice. Here's a picture of it. So yeah, I, I thought it was cute. Um, so I'm going to talk to you about this product now, this Cantu Shea Butter um, Conditioning Creamy Hair Lotion. I really like this stuff. I love it. I absolutely love it on my daughter's hair. My daughter's hair is a sandy brown and once I'm styling it, you know, I don't really put much on her hair. I, normally it's water and some kind of condition, leave-in conditioning. Um, when it's wet it looks shiny, it looks nice, but when it dries it looks dull. It's that color that it just has a dull tint to it. Once it dries, it looks really dry. 
even though it's not. But when I put this on it, it gives it shine and it holds the shine. Um, I have some pictures of her hair. And it's just, I love it. So yeah, I do use it sometimes with my hair, but um, but I this is one of my faves. These two here are my absolute favorite products right now in terms of conditioning. Love it. Moisturizing and conditioning, these are my go-to as of right now. Um, also, I want to thank you guys for your comments on my last video when I was talking about my hair loss. I appreciate you guys taking out the time and leaving your personal experiences. Thank you so much. It gives me a lot of hope. And um, the different things you guys suggested, thank you so much. It actually is doing better. Um, here's a little small clip of when I washed this, um, how much hair I actually lost from the last time I washed. Here it is. As you can see, it's way smaller than the other one because the other one was about this big a wide of hair. And that one is like little pieces in my palm of my hand. So, uh, I am happy about that. Amazed, amazed, amazed. Thank you again um, for your posts. I do appreciate it. When this is done, I'm going to actually try to do a twist out using... I'm going to do a twist out using the um, curl control pudding once this, when I wash this out. I don't want to do a video on it, but you can actually check it out on my Instagram um, page. I will post some pictures of the results on Instagram. My, this is my username.